race you to the bottom? It's a call that used to ring out from the towers as kids lined up to launch themselves down slides that twisted around each other to the hot pools below. But in recent times, the only race to the bottom has been around the maintenance of the facilities at Waiwera, with former operators and leaseholders, including a cast of Russian oligarchs and American diamond tycoons, allowing the pools to rust and decay. Vandals have also scaled the wavy walls and smashed, defaced and pulled apart whatever nature hasn't done by itself. Local resident Anne Sherwin says it's a far cry from the Waiwera of old. I used to go over to uh, Aquarobics over there and I thought, oh, this is great, you know, I can just walk across the road and it was wonderful. She's glad the demolition crews finally moved in if it means an end to trespassers disturbing the neighbourhood. People climbing into the pools and, you know, the, the security side of it, which hasn't been so nice. Um, you know, we'd sort of spoken to a few people and then decided maybe we'd back off and keep away from that. Yeah, so, and it wouldn't be so safe for kids climbing over into the pools either. We were concerned about that more than anything. Chair of the Waiwera Property Owners and Residents Association, Kay Scott, remembers the precinct as a buzzing, happy place. Fun, laughter, lots of parties, yeah, good times. She'd like to see it restored to its former glory, which she says would benefit the entire community. I feel for businesses because there's just nothing around. But, you know, nothing we can do about it. While local businesses have experienced the downturn since people stopped travelling there for the pools, there have been visitors of another sort. Film and TV shows such as Cowboy Bebop have been shooting on site, and police have even used the grounds for training exercises. But that, too, came to an end today, with demolition company Union Demolition moving in. Contractors say they've got nine weeks to get the job done. No mean feat with the scale of the park and all it contains. We're inside the office building at the entrance to the Waiwera hot pools in what appears to be a file room, which at some point since the hot pools abandonment has been absolutely trashed by vandals. Now there's a veritable treasure trove of history in this room. There are documents detailing decades and decades of transactions of the park. Pictures showing the park in its heyday as a spa facility while rolls and rolls of film show what appears to be some kind of big party out here. There are lifeguard uniforms left ditched on the floor here, potentially from the last day of operation of the pools. And perhaps what's most sad of all, plans for the park's future simply discarded on the floor. Collier's director of site sales, Josh Coburn, is one of those looking for new opportunities for the Waiwera site on behalf of the owners, Urban Partners. He says the site's dereliction has been a big hurdle for any potential buyers or investors. A sale fell through um, and the need to take a slightly different approach became obvious and it, and it became clear to us over the course of that advertising that the dilapidated infrastructure up there was really not going to feature in any way in any redevelopment. While an outright sale isn't completely off the table, Mr Coburn says the site could also be split up for three different developments and has potential for a range of tourist attractions, hospitality ventures and accommodation. Undoubtedly parties are going to use the thermal waters, it's a, it's a big plus, it's a big selling point of the site, but just probably not in exactly the way that they were being utilised previously. And so it's, exci- it's really exciting to see what's going to take place. The owners of the thermal hot pools with the rocky history hoping that a blank slate is what it takes to attract fresh interest in Waiwera.